Hi guys, so I thought I would come back again today and give you guys a quick review on some of the things that I've purchased over the last uh, maybe six months to a year. One of them being this Breville Smart Waffle Pro. Um, I have the two uh, slice waffle maker. It has the two um, cast iron um, cooking plates. It also comes with an option that you can have uh, four. I purchased mine some time back from the Breville site, breville.com. But it is also sold at Crate and Barrel, uh, Williams Sonoma, and perhaps maybe a couple other retailers. I'm just going to go through a couple of the things that I thought um, kind of drew me to this particular model. And we'll take it from there. So a couple features that, um, a couple of the features that I thought were really good. I have it on because I wanted to show you guys what it looks like. Right now I have it on and it's just heating. Okay. But it has a locking switch, which I thought was great. Okay, if you're short for time, um, short for space, I apologize, and you need to store this in an upright position, you can do so without having to worry about it opening up. Also, it has several um, options that for uh, different types of waffles that you can make. So if you can see here, uh, right now, I believe it has five. So um, you can see number one is Belgium, two is classic, three is chocolate, four buttermilk, buttermilk and five is custom if your family has a particular um, you know type of waffle that you guys like to make on the weekends or during a week you can customize the waffle maker to adjust the settings um, so that it'll cook the waffle consistently the same every time okay so you can see where the screen has gone from being that clear color to it's turned to like an orangey color I'm not sure what what it's coming across on the screen but it's actually orange and so the waffle iron is actually ready for to be used. I'm going to go ahead and turn it off. I wanted to show you guys what it looked like um, once it was already heated. But also some things that I just want to make um, note of here. So you can see here it has clear, I'm, I'm sorry, light, and then it has dark, right? So depending on how you like your waffles, if you like them, I like my waffles on the lighter side. So I typically have this setting, I believe, down to maybe three, and that can be adjusted, okay? And so that means that my waffles are going to come out um, somewhat light, but if you're someone that prefers them to be dark, obviously you can just keep turning. And what I'm turning is this right here, this knob where it says light and dark. So you would just turn it to dark and your waffles will probably come out pretty dark. <laughs> it has a restart button um, in the event that you are making multiple um, batches of waffles. You just add more batter once you removed, um, you know, your first couple waffles, you'd add more batter, put the top down and you can hit restart and it just start right back up on the same settings that you've already programmed, right? If so if you were to start making a waffle and your waffle, this were to beep and it were to say, okay, your waffle's all set um, and you decide, uh, I think it probably needs to cook a little more. I prefer it to be a little darker. There's an option here for you to push a bit more, okay? And I thought that was really nice. I've actually used that a couple times. Um, I've made everything from blueberry to banana nut bread waffles. I tried waffles with bacon in them, with sausage in them. I've made strawberry and cream waffles. Uh, you name it, I have tried it. And this uh, machine has consistently um, served me very well. So I thought I would come on and share with you guys um, any event that you are looking for um, one to purchase for the holiday season or for birthdays or just in for general use if you're looking to upgrade from you know if you have a standard waffle maker perhaps something you've bought from maybe like a walmart one of the cheaper um, models if you're looking to upgrade that this would be um, a pretty good option okay i hope everyone is well I'm just going to turn this off okay i hope everyone is well this is what it looks like i didn't want to mess with that too much but it's extremely hot um, I hope everyone is well. Oh, a couple more things I just want to mention to you guys. Um, so it would take about a half a cup of uh, waffle batter for each plate, okay? So if you were to put the waffle batter in, and let's just say, you know, in a previous waffle maker that I had, if you were to overfill, you know, you would find that it's on the side of the um, machine, it's running over, it's just a big mess. For this particular waffle maker, it has like a, a catch-all, area as you can see my fingers are running around that area now and it gets hot 
along with the, the plates that the waffles are actually cooking on. And it cooks the extra batter that spills over. So I thought that was pretty nice. You don't really have, I have never had to wipe the outside of this, um, you know, waffle maker due to spillage from, um, you know, the waffle batter. Um, so I thought that was a great feature. It doesn't take long to cool down and yeah, I think I'm done. Okay, I hope everyone is well and uh, preparing for the holidays. Okay, I'll talk with you guys soon. Bye.